it seems like a very complicated question because it's to do with the complexities of human life and relationships and all of the hurts as well as the joys that are part of that. But in another sense, the answer is very simple and it's that yes, we are meant to forgive and we believe in a God of infinite forgiveness. And at the very heart of our faith as Christians, there is a person and a moment and an act of supreme reconciliation, which is the mystery of the Lord's cross. So forgiveness and reconciliation is at the heart, not only of what we're meant to do to be good, but it's at the heart of who we are as God's people, as his children, and as the followers of Christ. People who don't forgive or, or find forgiveness and reconciliation difficult, I think, um, create more difficulties in their life, even when we think about people who aren't asking for forgiveness. Because, as you know, in forgiving someone, in the act of forgiveness, it's not only to do with the person who has offended us or the person who's hurt us, but it's also an interior act and it involves me and God and the rest of the human family. And so to be able to be a person of forgiveness and a person of reconciliation means that you can be a free person uh, deep down on the inside and in the way that you live as well. To do with the Pope, so, you know, some people say terrible, horrible things about the Pope, and we heard about them in those days. Um, one of the things that really astounded me when he was first elected was the, the fact that at the end of the 20th century, and all of that trouble and tumult that that century had brought, God chose a Polish Pope, and then he chose a German Pope. And if you like, in a sense, that itself was for the world, or for those who had eyes of faith to see it, a wonderful demonstration of reconciliation at the end of such a tumultuous age, that God himself, at the heart of the church, was bringing about reconciliation and making it visible to the world. You know, some of the things people say about the Pope just because he's German, they're outrageous, really. And I think when we look at it deep down, we can see that reconciliation that is needed between peoples and nations, reconciliation in hearts and souls taking place as well in the heart of the church. And I think that's a wonderful example for us all.